Okay, so here it is, guy. So basically, um, I had the racks lower a little bit on this rack here instead of like install it where um, the two bars connected together. At first, I was gonna uh, have the rack like right there at the bar connector right here, but uh, it's not necessary because the bar connector, you know, it's it's already in place anyway, so there's no need to hold it, you know, there's no need to install a bracket right there uh, for it to connect because it twists right on and bolt right on. So I can just adjust and install the rack anywhere else I wanted to. Um, so if I, if I install it right there in the middle of the uh, bar connector, then my rack won't look right because, you know, it will be a little bit too high. So I'm just going to adjust my rack a little bit lower. And then so I can have, uh, so I can uh, connect, uh, install another rack like somewhere up here. So uh, it'll be, you know, even out. So I won't have, you know, two racks that's, you know, too far down and another rack is too far up, you know. I just want to make a good, uh, install good racks. Um, so basically this is where I want my racks to be at. Maybe a little bit lower is okay, but not so low because remember down there it's gonna be ground this is where I install it it's gonna be ground down there uh, hopefully maybe later I'll have something underneath like a sheet or something and uh, you know under the rack so you know water and all that won't contaminate and of course I will have bricks underneath the wheels just like I have uh, bricks underneath these these wheels you know these the racks inside here I have bricks underneath the wheels just like that um, so you know it won't get rust and all that over the time but uh, I do recommend it you know to clean it every now and then um, because if you don't clean it just like my racks wheels right here it'll become dirty you know even though it's on top of the bricks but it's still gonna be dirty you want everything to be clean uh, every now and then so the next thing I'll do is doing the same thing on this side installing these plastic brackets where I need it to install see this is all the way up here I'm gonna have this whoa it's falling I'm gonna have this brackets moving down here to match with that one yeah that's how low I want the low uh, shelf to be so just like that guys yep and uh, it's ready to install onto this side of the rack and I'm gonna uh, one another thing I want to mention is um, I'm going to install one of these uh, chrome bar this is for like a hanger so it's gonna be basically it's gonna be like this you know it's gonna be like that see that yeah if I want to have a, a, a rat um, a hanger I can install a hanger like that but if I want to install a hanger like that I would need to have the hanger go you know go down from the top first and then it's gonna be on a, uh, it's gonna lay on the top of these brackets and on top of this shelf or you can have it below the shelf if you want to but you know if if, if you want to install it below the shelf you're gonna have to uh, install this first and then install the shelf you know how it goes so easy and simple well that's basically that's for this this uh, chrome bar is for that I don't know about this chrome ball. This chrome ball seems like it's from somewhere. I don't know. I know it's got to be from the rack too, but look at it. It looks like it's been cut or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to find out how to work it, I guess, by mix and match or whatever. But uh, I'm thinking it's for something else. Um, and then I'll have some more locks right here. These that I can install it like you know below here or on top doesn't really matter I guess it's better to install it below here to secure and then of course you gotta have the the plastic bracket there too uh, on the inside of it and uh, I'm thinking this is well I'm not sure yet I'll find out but I'm pretty sure this is the same thing um, I find out I might uh, I might uh, need some more of these brackets, the, the plastic brackets, so I can install the silver brackets because it's, it's missing some for the silver brackets. Uh, I don't think I have enough for the silver brackets after this, but I should. 
If I don't, you know, I can always go to Lowe. Lowe will sell these brackets. I, that's what I heard. Lowe will have these brackets. Lowe's or Home Depot, they, they probably have shelf brackets. Just ask for this, just bring this, and uh, they should have something similar to that. Or, you know, there's, there's more parts that are similar to that so I can finish this work. Anyway, it's pretty simple and easy, guys. So I'm just going to uh, put the camera here for a second and uh, let you guys see uh, how I'm going to install this side of the brackets. Okay. Basically, just push it from the bottom to the top. Kind of like that. Once I have one side in, I'll go ahead and leave it like that and install the other side, just like that. Make sure it's kind of like down to the ground. And just, when it's ready, I just take it up. It's very, it's not easy guys, it's not simple, okay? But when you do this, you gotta make sure it's right on. Sometimes the plastic bracket, the, plas the plastic bracket will fall out. So, so you just gotta be easy with it. And I gotta have both sides uh, parallel. And it's just so hard to get into that bracket right now, guys. So, I will get back to you guys once I have this set it up right. All right. <laughs> Looks like it's falling apart, but I'm going to try to put it together. So, I'll let you guys see it right after this.